the Port de Lizzie Harbour area of St. Catharines is about to look a lot different. Significant private investment is being made in the West Harbour area to develop two new mixed-use condominium projects that will be complemented by public realm and open space improvements. A new eight-story mixed-use building is currently under construction at 57 Lakeport Road, where Branch 350 of the Royal Canadian Legion used to stand. On the adjacent site to the south, 61 and 63 Lakeport Road, a vacant industrial building once operated by Lincoln Fabrics will be restored and expanded for a nine-story mixed-use building. In 2018, Council approved zoning bylaw amendments for these projects, which established building height and setbacks, the proposed mix of uses, and the use of some public lands to provide parking, public walkways, and improved open spaces. Site plan approval follows the zoning bylaw amendment process. The design of the building, servicing, lighting, landscaping, parking, and public spaces are refined through site plan approval. It's the city's practice to share these detailed designs with the public through consultation. And that's why we've invited you to view this presentation and other materials online. The Royal Port Building at 57 Lake Port Road will be eight stories tall when complete and clad primarily in brick and glass. The majority of the ground floor will be occupied by the Royal Canadian Legion while the remaining seven floors will include a total of 49 condominium apartment units. The adaptive reuse project at 61 and 63 Lakeport Road will see the existing heritage building preserved and expanded for commercial and residential uses. A two-story rooftop addition and a nine-story expansion are proposed. New additions will be clad primarily in brick and glass to complement the heritage building. A restaurant and cafe are proposed on the ground floor, along with six live-work units. The remaining above-grade floors will include 117 condominium apartment units. The main vehicular access will be centrally located along the frontage of the overall site. It will serve Lockhart Point, public parking areas, the Deleuze Yacht Club, and Royal Port's underground parking garage. The main access will also serve as an entrance only to additional public parking and the Harbour Club's north and underground parking areas. An exit only is provided just south of the main access and one additional access will serve the Harbour Club's south parking area. Parking for the condominiums is primarily located underground, with some parking located at grade for the commercial uses. 111 parking spaces will be provided for the Royal Port project and 183 for the Harbour Club. Existing public parking will be reconstructed, resulting in a modest increase in the overall count from 49 spaces to 52. An additional six spaces will be allocated to the Deleuze Yacht Club to replace what previously existed. As a condition of approval of the condominium projects, each developer will be responsible for significant improvements to the public realm. In addition to replacing and expanding public parking areas, access and parking for the Deleuze Yacht Club will be shifted west so that it no longer bisects Lockhart Point. This results in a more cohesive green space and plenty of room to accommodate a new pavilion. New walkways will be constructed and the harbour walk along 12 Mile Creek will be widened from 2.5 meters to 6 meters. Lighting and electrical services will also be replaced. The developer of the Harbour Club will also make significant investments in the public realm. The existing building at 61 Lakeport Road, which was once occupied by Pier 61 Restaurant, is slated for demolition. It will be replaced by a new public park. A new promenade between the two condominiums will provide direct public access from Lakeport Road to the water's edge. The Lakeport Road Boulevard will also be improved. New boulevard trees will be planted along the length of the development's frontage and the municipal sidewalk will be shifted so that it sits further away from the roadway. Existing public parking will be replaced 
with new stalls adjacent to Lakeport Road. For more information about the West Harbor Area projects, go to www.engagestc.ca. Have questions? Submit them through the project page on Engage and city staff will send you a response.